Welcome back to the channel Why Not Comics and today we're hitting a new comic book shop in the area and uh, just to let y'all know if, if you own a shop or any kind of business when somebody walks in your door at least greet them say how you doing do you need help with anything is there anything I can help you find anything make them feel important because at the end of the day the nicer you are to them they'll come back word of word of mouth spreads good so make them feel good about themselves and like you at least act like you care just a little bit because I walked in the door and this guy said absolutely not one word to me didn't let me know like any kind of deals or anything that was going on because that would have helped me towards the end right here when I try to buy some comic books that said a dollar and they end up changing the prices in the front. But it, we'll get into that in a little bit. But just at least let them know they're, they're important if somebody walks in your door and greet them and, you know, just act like you care because at the end of the day, they're the ones that's going to come back and they, you want them to spend money with you. So, you know, just at least do that. If not, I mean, do whatever you want to do. It's y'all shop or whatever. And, um, you know this guy actually there was not one person in this uh this shop at all and i kind of know why the way this guy kind of seems like he just has like a don't care attitude like i'm better than you kind of thing and uh you know at the end of the day it's going to hurt your business so you want to at least greet the people and say hey all that good stuff but anyways we're looking for some combos ghost rider there's an older ghost rider um volume three you need to look for some of the older ones number 89 like 80 i think 89 through like 94 is i think the last issue of um the ghost rider volume three so i was looking for a couple keys like that, that you can get for pretty cheap and uh, a lot of people don't really know too much about that so that's what i was looking for didn't find none so we keep digging and uh, we'll hit the dollar bin in a minute and uh, i'll let you know what kind of happened and we'll see you all at the house if you join the content make sure to like comment subscribe make sure you hit that like button sit back relax and let's go hunting Welcome back to the channel why not comics today i went to a comic book shop i grabbed some comic books that was supposed to be a dollar from a dollar bin and when i brought them up there they changed the price and this is what happened next let's get started all right guys so i go to a comic book shop nice shop they have cool cool key books on the wall and all the other books are priced and then there's a box um like 10 boxes of uh, dollar books, which it said uh, dollar books, this and that. So I grab a couple of good keys, some some decent stuff that's like they have for a dollar that's worth about five, ten dollars. Minor stuff, like look, give me give me one second, I'll show you one book that I'm talking about. All right, guys, so here's some books that I, I found that they wouldn't let me get. I already have copies of these books, that's why I knew to pick them up because it's a decent time to pick these books up. They have something to do with the Loki show, so. There was a book like this to have for a dollar. This is the first Frog Thor. Secret Defenders. That was a little speck on um, the Loki show. This is the cameo of the uh, TVA. That's the place at the Loki show. Books like this that I had for a dollar. So I was like, dang, I grabbed a couple of them. And then these right here, some decent keys. The Avenger ones. And this is another Avenger number 268. And number 267. There's a couple of them that's close. I can't remember the exact number. I know, I know, I like, I know comic books by the cover, but there's a couple of them like that with King on the front of it, different ones, but that's the ones that you want to grab, like number uh, 269, 
270, something like that. I, I'll have to know by the cover. But anyways, I grabbed some books like this. I brought them up front to uh, pay for them. And then he, was, he started, he's like, oh, this one's going to be $15. This one's going to be five bucks. This one right here is going to be five dollars. I said, well, I thought these right here were uh, dollar books. And um, he said, no, they, they're not dollar books. Um, only some of them's dollar books. But when you bring them up here, if um, if he thought that was worth more, then he's going to charge what he wants pretty much. So he made a sign right when I was there. He got on his computer and printed a sign out and printed it up. And so the, the sign, I can't remember what it said, but pretty much uh, most of these books are dollar books. And then he said something about like, unless you go up to the front desk, then they might be priced priced at the front desk or something like that. So I thought that was crazy that I found some comic books that are supposed to be a dollar. And then he, he just changed the price right when I get up front. I mean, what kind of crap is that? But I know comic book shops, it's hard to keep up with every book that's a key. And I go in there trying to find keys and some, some decent stuff that, you know, that's worth more than a dollar, which that's not my fault. If you have a um, some books there are supposed to be a dollar, then they should be a dollar, especially when they had dollar, dollar boxes there. And then he kind of changed it up. So he kind of covered himself saying like, it's up to him. If he thinks it's not worth much, then he'll say a dollar, which it is his shop. So just comment down below what you think about the whole situation. Is it fair that he changed it right when I got to the front desk or it's his shop. He can do whatever he wants to. That's just tough luck, you know, but I mean, these are not major keys. These are not even minor keys. It's just it's a li little something here and there. You know how that stuff works with um, any kind of spec on books. Books go up in price, 5 to $10. And there's some good books that, you know, I do my homework and, you know, I try to figure out books that, you know, I can make a little bit of money on so I can buy different books. Uh, upgrade and stuff like that. That way, um, you know, it kind of pays for itself when I go out hunting and drive all these places to go get comic books. That's usually what I do. And uh, everybody's looking for a good deal and you know i would have bought this for a dollar maybe sold it for five when it's worth 10 15. i mean it is what it is that's just what happens everybody does that even the comic shop when somebody brings a collection in to them they're not going to pay top dollar they're going to i think the rule of thumb is like um a third so like you want to pay or not a third you got to times it by three so if you was at a shop this will be if you paid a dollar for it you'll sell it for three dollars so one pays for your money back, one's for the booth or the um, your, your rent, and the other one's for profit. So if I pay 10, you want to sell it for 30, at least 30, something like that. So the key is not to buy a comic books that's worth it. Don't put a lot of money in the books unless they're like major keys. Something like this is a to totally another ball game. I'm just talking about cheaper, minor keys that, you know, up, up and down throughout the uh, history of the book. But... Just comment down below what you think about the whole situation. And uh, I'm going to put a clip in and show you when I was hunting this comic book shop. And he had some good stuff. And then, I mean, some of his stuff was a little priced. But, I mean, that's how it is. That's how comic book shops are. But I think it was kind of dirty that if it was supposed to be a dollar, then the guy printed a thing out and said, here we go. We'll put this up here. So now, now everybody knows. Well, you should at least uh, held your word about the dollar and then maybe next time, you know, everybody knows, but it, it's his shop and, you know, stuff like that does happen. But, um, just comment down below what you think about the whole situation and to join the content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Peace.